if I die, just make it hurt. Uh, mm-hmm. So we will uh, start with our first performance of the night, which was actually our leak uh, mm-hmm. of the day. And who did we have, Stephanie? We had Dreon and we had Georgia Starnes, and they sang Perfect Combination by Johnny Gill and Stacey Lattisall. I'm going to flip it around, girl. Flip it around. Stacey Lattisall and Johnny Gill. You need to flip that's that not what it right. said on, That's not what it said on Apple music, so. Oh, no. The Apple music had it wrong. That is Stacey Lattisall. Here's the thing, y'all. Stacey Lattisall was the bigger star. Stacey Lattisall was the bigger star. Johnny came to sing with Stacey. And the reason why I know this, y'all, mm-hmm. is because Stacey Lattisall and Johnny Gill are from the DMV. Um, they are homegrown, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Um, Stacey was a huge, she's one of the biggest voices that no one's ever heard of. Stacey was a huge child star. She made it as a, like, she cut her first album, I think. Actually, someone wrote the song Ring My Bell. If you remember you that song. Ring my bell. That was written by Stacey at nine years old. Wow. And, and uh, I forget what happened, but because it was like supposed to be, a, it's supposed to have a different meaning <laughs> than it did when Anita Ward sang it. Um, it's supposed to have a different meaning. Anyway, um, I said, no, they didn't. I said, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is like slightly older than Steph and I. Well, well, he's not just slightly older than Steph. He's probably got a good decade on Stephanie, but he's probably got like seven, seven years on me. Um, and so Snoop came up in an era when R and B was just starting to kind of come to come to life. The R and B that we fell in love with, and mm-hmm. so this was what you kind of call early '80s bubblegum R and B. And I know that kind of sounds oxymoronic when we talk bubblegum R and B. I said, no, Snoop did not choose this song. I knew when I saw who was singing the song, it, who it was going to be special. It was mm. going to be special. And I think that because if you all remember, these were the people, um, Georgia sang Sam Smith for her, for her, um, her, her blind. Mm-hmm. And um, Drian sang Shining Star. Didn't he sing yes, Shining he did. Star? Yes, he did. Yes. Um, and I just knew it was going to be special. I said, Georgia. I said, now I know neither of you have heard of this song. In fact, Georgia probably didn't even know who. I, I know Dreon said he knew who Johnny Gill was, but she probably yeah. didn't even know who the singers were, which I thought worked to her advantage. Yeah. Because I was like, did, I said, y'all, Georgia just sang Stacey Lattisall. And if you go back, um, and listen to some of her stuff, you all would see that she really was. I mean, this 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 girl at 14 opened for the Jacksons, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, she was coming along with Whitney. So when Whitney got elevated, Stacy kind of didn't. Um, and that's kind of what happened. I said, I loved Georgia's, I've loved since her initial audition. She is, her vocal choices are perfection to me and her runs and her in. Inflections. Um, I always loved her tone. She has runs. She has inflections. They were saying that the coaches were saying like Georgia can do it all, and she's got the mm-hmm. look, which is kind of scary. Um, she can yeah. kind of do it all. Um, I said this song calls for, especially with the female voice, a youthful, brighter tone, and mm-hmm. I thought Georgia brought that perfectly. Um, and, oh, I forgot to almost say, I said, Driana, I'm going to get to you in a minute. Okay. I got to spend some time with Georgia. Driana, I'm going to get to you in a second, sir. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I love the, the, the brightness of her voice. I said, Georgia's a voice. I just want to keep hearing. I said, now Drian. I said, what I love, number one, Stephanie is very familiar, I know, with Johnny Gill's voice. What I love, number one, Johnny Gill, if y'all don't know him, he has a very distinct, he sings in a growl. That's mm-hmm. the best way to describe him. He has a very distinct voice, and I thought that he did a per- perfect job of not singing it like Johnny Gill. He mm-hmm. was dreamed 100%. I said, 
you made that song all yours, sir. He did. I said, the way you finish phrases, did you hear how this man finishes his phrases? I said, it was just it, 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 perfect runs, perfect yes. thinking of phrases. I said, I said, perfect choices. Come on, choice. Like his the choices that he was making vocally. It Come was on, choice. when she was singing, everything that he did in the background was to compliment her. Yep. And it sounded sick. And that's a gracious singer, in my opinion. They look it like is. the two of them had a ball putting this together. Um, but I I want to really applaud Georgia in the fact that I know she probably didn't have a clue what this song was and, and, and why she was given this song. And I thought she handled it like a pro. I thought she was very professional. And then I said, you know what? Okay, I'm going to let you talk because we're going to talk about, I'm going to save my comments for what happened because I have issue. I take mm -hmm. issue. I take, mm -hmm. I take major issue. I get it because we know this show, but I take issue. Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Um, first of all, I really appreciate it. I, or I want to take a minute to appreciate coach Snoop for his oh. coaching, um, particularly for Drian, because you, I could tell watching the rehearsal that there was a bit of a block, like there was a little bit of a block or like a bit of a wall he was putting up and it's because Drian is married and I, I could. Uh, he wanted to be respectful and I could tell that he wasn't putting in as much emotion to the song as he could because he was trying to be respectful. And I love how coach based, how Snoop basically told him like, you have to, you can be respectful, but also pretend like you're singing to your wife or pretend like you're acting, put yourself in, in the place of singing to someone that you really love, uh, even though it's with somebody else. Um, and this is coming I, from someone who's still married to his high school sweetheart. Come on. I love that. I love that. I, I can't tell you how much I love that. And you know, it's so funny you say that because I have seen countless clips this week of Snoop talking about his wife and their marriage. Yeah. And it is one of the most inspiring things I have seen in a while. So big up to both of y'all. Yeah, it's that. Um, it's that. It's that um, it's them bushes. <laughs> I keep him chill. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna start with Treyon. Dude, the 80s R&B soul singer of it yeah. all was all yeah. up in your throat. Yeah. He gave me passion. He gave me... Uh, emotion he gave me performance there was one part where georgia was singing and he did like a spin i said work <laughs> work there was one thing that he did that i have not heard on this show and all i can do is describe it and you'll probably know what i mean it was like a whip note like he whipped a note yeah. it was like an yeah. 80s sound yeah that he did that I just thought was fantastic and totally appropriate for the song. Dreon has immense control over his instrument. And even though he has control, I love the freedom and how natural he is making the choices that he made and doing the runs that he did. Nothing, it was It was like he was just up there being and not thinking. And I love, I love to see that. Georgia, you might have one of my favorite voices this season. Oh, it's just so funky. Ciao. This is nuts. Child. She went to Booker T. She went to Booker T. Washington, though. She went to one of the greatest high school art schools in the country. She at Texas Bama, and I could hear it all up in her throat. It was like I was like, there is some, there is some secret sauce in that throat, and I was like, uh, give me more to remind myself of that voice. Okay, <laughs> it is. 
Um, it's so R and B leaning, so soulful, and it's funny that you call it bright. I don't see it as bright. I see it as deep and rich. Like her vibrato is just beautiful. I love the extended notes that she did where you could hear that soulful vibrato that she has. And also when they sang together, her voice cut. Unlike any, it was, it's as if they did something different to her mic yeah. that her voice just cut. and. It was almost to the point where it was like, can you hear Dreon? And are you trying to oversing him? I don't think it's what it is. Like it's her voice. voice, her voice just cut. Like you could yeah. just hear all the nuances of her voice. Yeah, it's just, it just cuts, cuts. It just it, cuts. It, 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 and when I say that, I meant what the song needs because it's a teenage, it's a teenage love song. And I felt like she didn't, make it sexy because you know she have, didn't No, you're apps okay yeah, then you're absolutely I'm, right I, I felt i felt it, she gave what what the song needed to in the context of the song if that makes sense she gave the she had the right spirit for spirit, the song yeah mm -hmm. she didn't give you sexy you know she know could have but that wasn't that would not have been appropriate for this song this and is this is a lover song yeah, and and I thought that she matched Dreon's energy and his flavor that he was bringing as well. Um, I did feel that in some of the runs that Georgia did at the end of the song, there was a little less control and a little less precise execution. But that's just that's that's not a big deal. It it was not distracting. I it actually highlighted even more the flavor of her tone because she was trying to give like a and I was like, please just do all of the yeah. things. Just sing yeah. everything. Yeah. And oh, that. Yeah, that one, that, that was a little off. I was like, I was like, well, you don't need to do all that, even though yeah. you sound good doing anything. But exactly. And that that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I loved it. I really loved it. And I was hoping you loved it too, because I knew you knew this song. So I was really hoping that you would love it too. That's like, that's like Johnny Gill is one of the early singers I used to imitate when I was very young, like, cause I just loved his voice and Johnny kind of came out the womb singing like this and really, and, like really, he could, he could sing like that at like 14, 15 years old. Yeah. And, um, I said I put great rendition. I put this was such a great rendition of this. Do you know I the original it. version of this? I Definitely. vaguely, yeah. vaguely. It's, it's it's very obscure because mm -hmm. they, they they had a monster hit of a song and like when they were a little older. Um, in like 1989, the song was "Where Do We Go From Here." Mm -hmm. Um, two of them had a duet that was mm -hmm. number one. Actually, went number one on the R&B charts. In like 1989, but this is when they were kids. The song they sung when mm. they were like 14. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, like it was, you know, it's just that cute, innocent, you know, puppy yeah. love song. Right. Um, I said I put stupid. He went home. Stupid. 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 I wrote with you oaths. cannot. You cannot call someone one of the best singers on the show and then send and not, them home. And not you can't them. do that. No. And again, y'all, this could have been obviously this was at the end because uh, we know that the editing puts them in different orders. It had to have been at the end because you would him and Jameson like you wouldn't have sent those two home, those two dudes home any other season, any right. other season. But right. I get why Snoop kept Georgia. I no, understand. No, 1,000%. Because 1, Georgia, Gwen said it, Georgia is the complete package. She's, She's everything. everything the industry loves. And yeah. I hate to admit this because that's the ugly part of the industry, in my opinion, because a lot of it has to do with look, you know? But she's mm -hmm. everything the industry loves. Yeah. She is a white girl who has a soulful but 
kind of bohemian, soulful, jostone type voice. Amy Wine, like, you know, not not same voice as Amy Winehouse, but you know what I'm talking about. Yes. With a great look. Um, but the thing that I loved about George and Stephanie, I wanted you to see if you picked this up because I know you 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 respect people that work real hard. I can tell that Georgia is a hustler. Okay, thank you for saying that because I wanted to say and I I wrote down I love her personality in the B roll. Yeah, I I liked her. Yeah, and because of all the other attributes that you said. It could be very easy to look at her and say that she's uh, she might be this way or that. I was like, I'd be her friend because she's a hustler. She's a she's a hustler. She got four jobs. She's still trying to do her music thing like she is not afraid of hard work. So as much as we are sad, sponging everything that Snoop was saying, I felt like she was really being a student. Yeah, as as sad as I am that Dreon is gone, and as much as I think he should still be in the competition, that does not at all mean that we don't think that Georgia should be in the competition as well, because she is uber talented as and well. Watch out, man! Watch out for Georgia. They really mm-hmm. do. Like Gwen said, she is the complete package. Watch yes, out! Yes, she is. That's what the industry mm-hmm. adores. Yeah. So watch out, y'all. All right. She's scary. All right. 